Nuclear weapons are among the most powerful and devastating tools of warfare ever created by humanity. With the ability to cause unparalleled destruction, they can annihilate entire cities in a matter of seconds and leave lasting environmental and health effects for generations. Imagine this. A missile launches from the United States, piercing the sky at 17,500 miles per hour, carrying a nuclear warhead with the power to obliterate everything in its path. A Minuteman III, one of the most powerful weapons in the U.S. nuclear arsenal, makes its way toward a major Russian city, Moscow, the heart of Russia. The clock is ticking, and the world holds its breath as the warhead's devastating power prepares to unleash destruction on a scale never seen before. What happens next? The Minuteman III isn't just another missile. It's the United States' nuclear sword of deterrence. Fast, accurate, and devastating. With a range of over 8,000 miles and the ability to carry multiple nuclear warheads, this missile can strike anywhere on Earth within 30 minutes of launch. Its length is 60 feet, about the length of a school bus. With a speed of Mach 23, that's 28,000 kilometers per hour, or 17,500 miles per hour. It could fly from New York to Moscow in under 30 minutes. The W87 has a yield of up to 475 kilotons. That's nearly 30 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. With three independently targetable warheads, it's a missile that guarantees destruction, no matter how many times the target tries to dodge it. In the heart of Moscow, Three MIRVs, each armed with a 475 kiloton warhead, descend simultaneously. The combined power of 1.425 megatons erupts with unimaginable force, unleashing a wave of destruction far beyond anything previously seen. The fireball, with a radius of 4.5 kilometers, vaporizes everything in its path, including the heart of the city. Approximately 2.5 million people are killed instantly within this area. The shockwave spreads out to 12.5 kilometers, collapsing buildings and crushing people with debris. In this zone, another 6 million perish from the blast and structural collapse. Thermal radiation ignites fires up to 10.5 kilometers from ground zero, burning survivors and causing severe injuries. An additional 3 million people die from burns and fires in the aftermath. As radiation spreads, those within 20 to 25 kilometers suffer from radiation sickness, and 10 million people experience long-term health effects, many dying from radiation poisoning in the following months. In total, the death toll rises to 15 million as Moscow becomes an unrecognizable ruin, and its survivors face the devastating consequences of nuclear fallout. The Trident D-5 missile is a cornerstone of the U.S. nuclear deterrent, a weapon capable of reshaping the landscape of warfare with its immense power. Deployed by Ohio-class nuclear submarines, this submarine-launched ballistic missile, or SLBM, is designed to strike with unparalleled precision and deliver devastating force. The Trident D-5 SLBM is an imposing weapon with impressive specifications that underscore its power and stealth. Measuring 13.4 meters or 44 feet in length, it's roughly the size of a London double-decker bus. With a range of 7,500 to 12,000 kilometers or 4,660 to 7,450 miles, the Trident D-5 can strike targets anywhere in the world, including distances long enough to cross the Atlantic Ocean. Its incredible speed of Mach 24, or 29,000 kilometers per hour, or 18,000 miles per hour, means it travels approximately 24 times the speed of sound, making it as fast as a spacecraft re-entering the atmosphere. When launched, the missile is capable of carrying up to 12 thermonuclear warheads, specifically the W88 or W76 types, with the W88 boasting a massive 475 kiloton yield about 30 times the size of the Hiroshima bomb. These warheads are precisely guided, employing inertial navigation and stellar correction to ensure a strike with laser-sharp accuracy. The Trident D-5 is deployed from the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, which can launch the missile from depths of up to 40 meters, or 130 feet, underwater, making these platforms nearly invisible to enemy forces 
and enhancing the missile's ability to remain undetected until the moment of launch. Imagine all 12 W-88 warheads were deployed over Beijing. If all 12 W-88 warheads, each with a yield of 475 kilotons, were combined, the total yield would be 5.7 megaton. The fireball radius would likely extend to approximately 6.6 .6 miles, or 10.6 kilometers, with the immediate vaporization of everything within this area, including all structures and living beings. The shockwave radius would reach 13 miles, or 20.9 kilometers. The thermal radiation radius could extend up to 20 miles, or 32.2 kilometers or more, depending on conditions. Overall, this attack would likely result in 8 to 10 million immediate deaths, with the potential for more casualties in the aftermath, bringing the total casualty count to potentially 12 to 15 million or more, depending on the city's population density and preparedness. Lurking in hidden mountain bases across North Korea, the 25-meter, or 82-foot, Wasong-17 represents Pyongyang's ultimate nuclear trump card. This liquid-fueled behemoth, weighing over 100 metric tons and mounted on an 11-axle transporter erector launcher, or TEL, can deliver apocalyptic destruction across 15,000 kilometers, that's 9,300 miles, at speeds exceeding Mach 20, 15,300 miles per hour, or 24,600 kilometers per hour. The missile's terrifying capabilities were demonstrated in its 2022 test launch, where it reached a maximum altitude of 6,248 kilometers before splashing down 1,090 kilometers away. A trajectory confirming its ability to strike any target in the continental United States within approximately 40 minutes of launch. The Wasong 17's combination of extreme range, massive payload capacity, and mobile basing makes it perhaps the most credible nuclear threat in North Korea's arsenal. Deep beneath the Siberian permafrost, in reinforced silos scattered across Russia's vast missile fields, lurks the most fearsome weapon ever created by mankind. The RS-28 Sarmat, known to NATO as Satan II. This 35-meter or 115-foot colossus weighs a staggering 208 metric tons and represents the pinnacle of Russian strategic weapons technology. With its estimated 18,000-kilometer or 11,200-mile range and the ability to deliver up to 10 megatons of nuclear destruction anywhere on Earth within 30 minutes, the Sarmat is not merely a missile. It is the physical embodiment of mutually assured destruction. What makes this weapon truly terrifying is its payload flexibility. It can be configured to carry a single 50-megaton Tsar Bomba-class warhead, capable of annihilating an area the size of France, or up to 15 smaller MIRV warheads at 750 kilotons each for precision strikes against multiple targets. Most disturbingly, it can also deploy the avant-garde hypersonic glide gear, which maneuvers unpredictably during re-entry at speeds above Mach 20, rendering all current missile defense systems obsolete. A single Sarmat launch against a major metropolitan target like New York City would unleash Armageddon. A 10 megaton airburst over Manhattan would create a 5.5 kilometer or 3.4 mile wide fireball that would instantly vaporize everything from Central Park to Wall Street, killing approximately 3 million people in the first millisecond. The subsequent blast wave would radiate outward with unimaginable force, collapsing even reinforced structures across a 12 kilometer or 7.5 mile radius and reducing much of New Jersey and Brooklyn to rubble. The thermal pulse would inflict third-degree burns across a 35-kilometer or 22-mile radius while igniting a self-sustaining firestorm throughout the metropolitan area. Conservative estimates suggest immediate casualties exceeding 10 million, with millions more likely to perish from radiation sickness, infrastructure collapse, and the breakdown of civil order. The strategic implications of the Sarmat are profound. With just 10 to 12 missiles reportedly operational and more planned, Russia maintains the capability to essentially end Western civilization in a single coordinated launch.
The Russian Belgorod-class submarine moves silently through the Pacific darkness, carrying its 24-meter-long, 100-ton behemoth, the Poseidon nuclear torpedo. This cobalt-salted doomsday weapon represents the pinnacle of underwater warfare technology. Its 1.6-meter diameter titanium hull coated in nanocomposite stealth materials that absorb 95% of sonar pulses. For three days, the Poseidon glides undetected through the ocean's midnight zone. Its AI-enhanced inertial navigation system guided by quantum gyroscopes and preloaded seabed maps. As it enters terminal approach, just 130 kilometers offshore, the torpedo engages its magnetohydrodynamic assist, accelerating to 100 knots in a final sprint towards Santa Monica Bay. The resulting 100 megaton detonation creates a 5.8 kilometer diameter superheated steam bubble reaching 100 million degrees Celsius, five times hotter than the sun's core. The surrounding seawater vaporizes instantly within a 3.2 kilometer radius, while the shock wave propagates through the water at 5,000 kilometers per hour. The collapsing bubble generates a 340-meter mega-tsunami that reaches Santa Monica in 90 seconds as an 85-meter wall of water, erasing all coastal structures. On the surface, thermal radiation ignites everything flammable within 55 kilometers, while the 50 psi overpressure wave flattens skyscrapers 15 kilometers inland. The cobalt-enhanced fallout creates a 300 rem per hour radiation zone extending 200 kilometers downwind, guaranteeing the area remains uninhabitable for centuries.